Welcome to the American Relief Act video podcast series, part three on unemployment, hosted on Government Technology Insider. I'm your host, Matt Langan. The COVID-19 pandemic put pressure on state governments to rapidly deliver unemployment benefits to citizens whose jobs were either eliminated or paused. And citizen outreach methods like online registration and call centers could not really keep up with the volume of requests. And for those state agencies that could rapidly deliver on citizen expectations, their common denominator was a cloud infrastructure built to scale workloads based on demand. And today we're joined by William Sanders, who's the director of US and Canada Cloud Strategy for Oracle Government and Education, who will discuss this further. And William also previously served as the CIO for the Kansas Department of Labor, where he led a successful initiative to streamline the state's unemployment claims process. And William, thanks for joining us today. Hey Matt. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, likewise, likewise. And let's just kick it off from the top and tell us how does cloud speed up the process of unemployment benefits overall? Well, the, the pandemic has taught us really that our platform must be flexible enough to scale applications and systems and then also be able to be managed remotely. So in today's cloud world, you, you don't really need to have a brick and mortar data center with you know heavy compute network and storage gear for that to happen. And things like maxing out the application with 100% CPU utilization that you know, subsequently causes an outage of the critical business application really shouldn't happen in today's world. So I want you to imagine instead an arrangement in which the compute servers dynamically increase or decrease their computing power based on what the application demands at that time. And that's true elasticity and that's achieved through auto scaling. And in this way, cloud's brought to the the processing of unemployment benefits, the functionality that has previously been unavailable. And that functionality is the ability to be flexible, you know, rather than, you know, choose a configuration either normalized for your regular workload or over provisioned for peak, um, but not both. And auto scaling brings its own set of economic advantages. So with auto scaling, you can use the resources according to your immediate business needs, and then you can scale up or scale down without any human intervention. Oh, that's excellent. And let's talk about when systems are on premise. So how can state agencies take advantage of the cloud when I assume many agencies probably have most of their systems are on prem? How, how can they uh, take advantage of the cloud in this situation? So, you know, there are many ways uh, to take advantage of cloud when some or all of your critical systems remain on premises. And so many states have adopted a cloud first or cloud smart strategy, and, and they want to be sure to maximize their capabilities by running workloads as efficiently and effectively as possible, meaning there's a focus on running critical workloads wherever they run best. And that could be on premises, that could be in the cloud, or that could be in a hybrid environment. So states are taking advantage of cloud computing by you know, using test and dev environments in the cloud, making it easier for them to be more cost effective when they wanna innovate. Uh, others are using cloud to add analytic capabilities, and that brings better information to the decision-making process. And still others are using cloud to provide integration between multiple systems that are already in the cloud or integration between cloud and on-premise applications. So there's a lot of really good use cases that uh, um, states are using to take advantage of cloud, even if their primary workloads are on-premise. That's excellent. You know, William, appreciate these insights. And for our last question is really about preventing fraud. So how can a cloud-based system prevent fraud when it comes to unemployment benefits and managing this whole process, if you will? Matt, that's a great question. You know, along with the inability to keep pace during the pandemic, unemployment systems found themselves to be the victims of pervasive fraud. You know, estimates indicate most states had double digit improper payment percentages with some being over 30%. Um, this resulted in billions uh, paid out fraudulently. And so frauds moved to the forefront of concerns for, for government leaders. Uh, cloud technologies can help prevent fraud by better and more quickly matching claimants with the data that better identifies them, and then also looks for anomalies like claims coming from foreign IP addresses or claims filed from the same address or payments to multiple claimants coming from going to the same bank account. And these points may be difficult for a human to catch, but that's not true for a cloud-based system that relies on matching techniques or better yet, a well-trained artificial intelligence. So those are some ways where, you know, cloud can really help prevent fraud and then, you know, keep the integrity of the unemployment system. 
Oh, that's great. And this concludes the American Relief Act video podcast series, part three on unemployment hosted on Government Technology Insider, where William Sanders, who's the director of US and Canada Cloud Strategy for Oracle Government and Education, really discussed how cloud infrastructure built to scale workloads based on demand can help states best manage unemployment benefit claims processes and much, much more. And William, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Matt.